Hi, welcome back to Manohar Academy. In this lesson, we are going to learn about arrays and how they are affected by inheritance. So here we have a simple array of persons of size 10 and we can assign a person object at uh, location 0 or at index 0. Also at index 1, we can save a student object because student is obviously a person. It is a subtype of person. So again, we are covering the same three classes that we were dealing with in this course. That is person, which is super type and student is a subtype of person. So student is extending person. Also the employee, employee is also a person. So employee is also extending the person. So these are the three classes we are talking about. The person, the student and the employee. Okay, so here we can assign that student object to a variable at index one. Also we can do, yeah, we can assign employee also because employee is also a person. So good. Now I have a array of students. So here also I have size 10. So a student is a student, right? I mean, uh, so here I'm assigning the student object at index zero, at index one, I am trying to assign a person. All names are same. Okay. Can I do that? I can't do that because the person is not a student. As we know, the super type variable that is person can refer to an object of subtype. So this is allowed, but a subtype that is student cannot refer to a person which is super type. So this is not allowed and we can't do that. Even we try to explicitly convert it to student, then the compilation error might go away, but because this object is of type person and person may be student, the person may be employee. And also here, the person is person, he is not a student. We are going to get a runtime error that is class cast exception. So this we have already seen in the previous lesson class cast exception, person cannot be cast to student. So that we already know. So let's not do that. But is there any other way I can try to sneak in a person into a student's array? Basically at student, I mean at index one in this particular array, I want to be able to include this person and remember, I should not be able to do that the, because the person may or may not be student. He may be employee also. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the student's array or the variable that is referring to the student's array to a person's variable. So as a result of that, the person's variable that, that is highlighted here is now referring to the student's array. Now, if I try to insert a student or sorry, person into a person array, this is absolutely allowed. So the compiler is not complaining because you are assigning a person to a variable of type persons. So compiler is okay with that. There is no uh, type mismatch or anything like that. But in actuality, if we rem if you see that, actually the persons is not referring to the persons array, but it is referring to the students array because of this particular statement. The compiler is not able to tell that because it doesn't run the code. So it doesn't know what is the runtime object that is holding the ob variables or objects. So now if I try to run this one, we are going to get an exception, runtime exception. Let me run it. So here we are getting an exception, but here the exception type is different. Previously we got class cast exception because the casting is wrong, but now we are getting array store exception because we try to store a person into a variable of type student. 
the student array is supposed to have students but it we are we are tried to sneak in a person into students array this person may be employee it can be anything so it is not allowed but some somehow we are able to fool the compiler by assigning by making this assignment which is perfectly valid because students are persons but this statement which is incorrect is properly identified at the runtime and we are going to get the array store exception this is the only thing we need to know about arrays and uh, the relationship of arrays to the inheritance so please make sure whenever you have a array make sure if you have persons array if it is referring to a different subclass array something like student and if you try to insert a person array into that you don't get a compilation error but it is going to fail at the runtime runtime exceptions they are dangerous because if you don't catch them the program is going to get terminated so here in this simple program we did not get this particular statement executed because we got a runtime exception so the compiler exceptions are better and so don't do anything that fools the compiler but where you are going to run into a runtime exceptions okay that is all from this lesson if you are benefited from this video please make sure you like it and you share it with your friends so that they can also watch they can also learn also if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe so that whenever i upload new videos you will get an alert saying okay manohar academy has uploaded a video you are ready to go you can go and watch okay that is all from my side see you in the next lesson thank you